still don't get it, do you? He'll find her. That's what he does! That's all he does! You can't stop him! He'll wait for you, be stuttered drunk, and pull her fucking heart out! Tim Zhu got his feral ass whipped. Thoroughly. In totality. By back rub mozzarella. And for some strange reason, he doesn't get the same energy as anyone else. Let's talk. <laughs> Nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight, motherfuckers. I do. All right? I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as, as, long as you're trying to fight the great, that you're, or the, the, the best competition. So, Sergio Mora, the Latin fake comes out and says bad match making has knocked out Tim Zhu out of the championship mix. No, it, it wasn't bad matchmaking. It was back rub mozzarella. Back rub mozzarella knocked Tim Zhu out. Matchmaking didn't do anything. You are, you are the same people. You're the same ones that will run around here and you'll say, these are, we want the best to fight the best. That's what you claim. You guys, when one of your kind loses, and I'm saying your kind because I don't need to hide behind, oh, well, what does he really mean? No, I know exactly what he means. I know exactly what he means. You weren't saying uh, bad matchmaking knocked Deontay Wilder out of championship mix with Anthony Joshua. You weren't saying that at all. You were calling him block squad. Block squad is what you were saying. He doesn't say bad matchmaking got Deontay Wilder, had Deontay Wilder lose against Joseph Parker when Deontay Wilder hadn't fought in what? One round in two years? And Joseph Parker had just came off of a fight? Yeah, you weren't saying bad matchmaking. You didn't say anything. Nothing. You didn't say bad matchmaking when you then put Deontay Wilder in there with uh, Zhili Zhang. Yeah, Zhang Lang who also just came off of a, a, another war. Deontay Wilder wasn't coming off of wars. You didn't say anything like, you didn't say bad matchmaking. There was no such thing as bad, you were just fine. You didn't say bad matchmaking when Ryan Garcia was get juiced to the gills and extremely overweight to fight Devin. You didn't say bad matchmaking. As a cra the crazy thing is, you didn't say bad matchmaking when it came to any black or brown fighter. When it, you said bad matchmaking when it came to this guy. This Eastern European. It was bad matchmaking then. So I don't need to sugarcoat around it and fluff what it is. No, you want your people to be in a position of success. That's fine. I got no problem. Got no problem. Because I want my people to be in a position of success too. We're better than y'all. We are physically better. Physically. We are absolutely fit, which is why you guys destroyed our minds for centuries. Because we are physically better, genetically better, whatever. This guy says, bad mat make, bad matchmaking. Not, we're not, so we're not going to give uh, back rub martini, back rub mozzarella. We're not giving him his credit now. So he don't get no credit. He don't get no respect for a dominating performance. Ah, but when it's Ryan Garcia, it's, Oh, well, he, he fought fair and square. He really did. He didn't cheat. Not a drug cheat. Check the hair. Well, let's wait for the hair follicle. Wait for all the, let's wait for everything to come through. Let's wait for all of this. This is, this, this, he was spiked. He doesn't even take supplements. Oh, well, you know, the IV, Bill was there. Bill saw it. Bill didn't care. Bill didn't care that he was taking IV. Bill was fine with him taking Osterin. Scooter did it. Blame Vada. Vada, dr Vada did it. Vada drugged me. Victor Conte did it. 
And now all of a sudden, Lil Bill did it, but whatever. That's what you guys ran with. That's what y'all ran with. You Anything to ensure or to keep a sense of negativity over that black man. Anything to keep a sense of negativity over Devin Haney. Anything. You guys are still doing it. Anything to keep a sense of negativity over, over Deontay Wilder. Anything. And you're still doing it. Anything to keep a sense of negativity over Earl Spence. Oh, man. Earl Spence is done, man. Earl Spence needs to retire. It's bunkers to me. You guys are saying that he needs to retire. He, he's finished. Devin needs to retire. He's done. Wilder needs to... This is what you guys are saying to me. You guys are pushing. You guys are pushing this. Tim Kazoo got obliterated. And you blame it on bad matchmaking. Bad matchmaking. Knocked him out of the championship mix. Well, did you forget he just got his ass whipped to Fundora for the championship, for the unification? And his next fight is against this guy for another title? What do you mean knocked him out of the championship mix? What are you talking about? He just fought back-to-back -back fights for three belts. What are you talking about? The IBF, the WBO, and the WBC. He just fought back-to-back. -back. How did this fight knock him out of championship mix? How? What are you guys talking about? What the fuck is you talking about knocked him out of championship mix? You guys do realize that he just fought this man for the IBF title. Coming off of a loss with his ass whipped. He fought for a belt yet again. And this guy's in here crying, this Latin fake, this fucking under, under, undercover low-key racist. And, and you guys are, you're, you're so wild that you think that all you got to do is not mention the racial, racial aspect, but talk all around it. And then you're fine. Well, let me explain something to you. If you go down on your woman, and all you're doing is kissing all around the belly button and the thighs, the upper thighs and all kind of kisses and licks and nibbles and bites. And then you get to fucking. You can't go back and say you ate the pussy. And that's what you guys are doing. So simply because you're not sticking your tongue in it and you're just nibbling all around it. All around, I'm nibbling. No, I know what y'all are doing. You're a fucking racist. You're an undercover low-key racist. This statement is protection of your kind. You could just call it for what it is. I'm not even mad. Really, bro, I'm not even mad. I, I actually respect when a motherfucker's like, hey, man. Hey, man, I'm down. I'm down for my people, bro. I'm down for my people, and that's just that. I, can, I respect it, bro. I, I got, hey, I, I got no beef. I know where you stand. I got no beef. I can respect it. It's when you start lying, acting like you're not down for your people, but everything you say and do, you're down for your people. These specific fighters, uh, their fans do the same thing all the time. The, the first thing they do when they come and talk to you, they'll be like, I'm a fan of such and such. I'm a huge fan of such and such. But, man, I love such and such and such. But, um, but you don't got to set no motherfucking precursors if you want to just tell me what's going on with you. If you want to tell me what you think, you want to express your opinion, you're entitled to it. You don't got to set the bar because you guys are setting the bar extremely low because I already know as soon as you set the bar, I'm looking over it. I'm looking over what you're talking about. You're what, you what you just said is irrelevant to me. I'm looking over it trying to figure out what you're trying to say behind there. What's back there is what I'm worried about. Anybody comes here to, oh man, I'm a such and such fan. But I'm already looking over immediately. And the crazy part about this, you guys can't help it. So you're going to continue to do it. Oh, man. I'm such such a fan, such and such. Bad matchmaking has knocked Tim Zhu out of championship mix. But y'all didn't say that about Jermel Charlo fighting Canelo Alvarez. That was horrible matchmaking. You guys aren't saying this about Terrence Crawford fighting Canelo Alvarez. That is horrible matchmaking. Horrible. Absolute trash. 100% horrible matchmaking. Moving up two weight classes. You are a small dude moving up two weight classes to fight that guy. Well, once Canelo Alvarez obliterates this man, then what? His stock will plummet. Still be Terrence Crawford, but he won't be the same Terrence Crawford. His stock will plummet. Still be Terrence Crawford, though. And his stock, his stock will plummet. Not in the ring, not his skill set, not his ring IQ, none of that shit. No. 
with you guys, with the powers that be, with the people that say you have to be undefeated to be somebody unless you are Mexican or Eastern European. If you're, if you're that, then, hey, man, you, hey, if you lose to somebody, you're a warrior. You're a warrior for the, you're a warrior, man. You're putting, you, you're doing so much because you're a warrior. Look how many times Fury got up. He's a warrior. Look at the heart. But Devin getting up and, oh, man, Devin's done, man. He, he'll never be the same, man. He's a shot fighter, man. He's finished. Nobody cares about the rematch. No one wants the rematch. But you guys wanted the rematch when it came to Tyson Fury because you wanted, an, you wanted a decisive victory, which is why you didn't care that Fury cheated Deontay Wilder. You didn't care, which is why you don't care that uh, Ryan Garcia cheated Devin Haney. That's why you don't care. You just wanted a decisive, a decisive victory over black people. Because we are physically better than you. Naturally, the creator made us that way. Which is the reason why, if you look at basketball, dominated by black, black people. If you look at football, dominated by black people. Yeah. They used to have the point guards in basketball used to be white because they was the one always with the ball. And they just wanted to have the centers to have to be because the center just got to stand there yeah just stand there. let me just throw it down to the center and let the center score right quick but i'm the one doing all the moves i'm the one doing all the precision i'm the one yeah that's what the that's what they were whatever until the the, the big o came in and dominated whatever whatever that's what y'all wanted them same thing with football oh yeah we can have we can have you guys running the football and we can have you running around catching what we throw to you but the quarterbacks, the people that lead the team, yeah, those are, those are, we got to keep those, those guys. That's why we have the term pocket passer. Because I, I, you can't fucking move like I can move. So we made, so they made moving around downgraded. Let's, let's downgrade it. Just stand in the pocket and throw. Just stand there and throw. Yeah, they did that purposely and specifically because we are physically better than you. That's why we did that. When's the last time you had a 100-meter cha uh, Olympic champion? When's the last time? 200-meter. There's a reason for that. It's not, it's, I, I'm not over here trying to be racial. I'm speaking factually. The creator made us naturally better, which is why we get motherfuckers that say shit like this. They say shit like this. They don't say bad matchmaking is what happened to Deontay, what happened to Errol, what happened to Devin. No, they don't say that at all. They say, just admit it, darky. Oh, you're making excuses. Oh, I'm making excuses. Oh. Look at the excuses you're making. Just stand there and take your whipping like a man. Just hold a tree and let me throw lashes on your back. Oh, man, these guys are crying about it. Oh, oh, man. oh, I can't believe you're crying. Just stand there and just take it. Can't believe this. What a bitch. But yet Tim Kazoo can come in here. Oh, well, I don't even know what happened. How could this happen to me? Vasily Lomachenko can sit in the on the chair and literally fucking cry like a bitch. Just sit there and cry. And you guys will be like, oh, man. Th those are passion. Those are tears of passion because he was robbed. Those are tears of passion. He was robbed, man. He was robbed. Those are tears of passion. Uh, listen, bro. He worked his whole life. He, was, he worked his whole life and was robbed. Uh, wouldn't you cry if you worked your whole life and was robbed? But Deontay Wilder, who got robbed, can say, I don't know what happened. I didn't feel myself. I don't know what happened. Maybe it was my suit. I don't know. And instead of you guys saying, oh, Deontay, man, man, that's, man, that's, I feel like crap for you, man. You worked your whole life, man. You got into this sport for your baby girl who has spinal bifida, and you got in here. You did all these things, man. You defended your title so many times, and you wore that heavy suit, man, and that happened to you, man. I feel so bad for you, man. I feel so bad, man. You worked your whole life. No, they murdered that man. They dragged that man's character. They destroyed that man. 
Oh, he's making excuses. His suit was too heavy. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh. That's what you guys did. So you don't got to play these fuck fuck games with me. You don't got to try to spin it on. Oh, well, you know, I'm not speaking racist. I'm actually speaking real. It's bad matchmaking. How the fuck is fighting for a title bad matchmaking? How? I was fighting for a title bad matchmaking. And if I was to put, if I was to go at Tank Davis for not fighting the titles, oh, you guys will be right up on me, right there, y'all. Oh, that's right, BF, you right, get him. Get him, BF, you right, BF, get him. Get him, BF. Get him, BF, because Tank ain't never fought for no belts, and you right, Tank ain't never fought for no real titles. No, he only fought two, that's right, you right, get him, you right, BF, jump on him, BF, best fight the best, which was the best to fight the best. I'm with you, BF. That's right, that's what we want, man. We, that's, we, we, want, we, we want that. Yeah, go uh, get get him. Get Tank Davis. Get, get Terrence Carver, man. Get him. Get them niggas. But I start going at Tim Kazoo, and all of a sudden, what? So what? Back rub mozzarella is not, is not good now? He ain't Eastern European? You guys are willing to protect another Eastern European so badly that you'll go against an Eastern Pe European. They're both Eastern European. Both of them is white boys. But you guys want to protect the white boy. You want to protect this white boy so bad that you're not even degrading this white boy. You're talking about the matchmaking. Insane. Insane. Absolutely insane. This is a PBC card, isn't it? Wasn't it a PBC card? So if this was a PBC card, who runs PBC? Al Heyman. So you, so, you, so you don't blame the other Eastern European white guy. You blame the black man, Al Heyman, for bad matchmaking. So you don't say this guy just wasn't good enough to beat this guy. That's not the case no more. It's, it's let's blame the black guy. Let's blame Al Heyman. Let's blame the matchmakers. Let's do everything that we can. The matchmaker put this man in a title fight after losing a title fight. You don't give this man credit and respect for saying, damn, he, he believes in Tim Kazoo. Yeah, he believes in Tim Kazoo. He believes in Tim Kazoo so much that even though Tim Kazoo lost that fight with front door, he gave him another opportunity at, at a championship. Nah, we're not going to do that. We're going to say bad matchmaking. Insane. Fucking insane. Insane. The Latin fake. And all you weird ass racist motherfuckers, undercover racist, uh, low key racist, however you want to call yourself. But you are out here capping for this guy. That's what y'all, you're capping for this guy. Oh man, it's just bad matchmaking. No, it wasn't bad matchmaking. No, it wasn't. He was just better. Back rub mozzarella was just fucking better. It wasn't bad matchmaking. He's better. But you can't admit that. But if it comes to Lomachenko and Devin Haney, oh, well, Lomachenko was robbed. Loma was robbed when it comes to Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, when Fury got dropped multiple times and knocked out. You guys say that Fury was robbed. And then you come over here with the audacity to say, don't race bait, BF. Fuck you. Fuck you. You don't control me. You don't dictate nothing over here. Fuck you. Fully. We are better than y'all. When we box, we're running. When, with, when Lomachenko boxes or somebody else boxes, if they're boxing and doing their boxing, oh, look at Tyson Fury's footwork. He boxes like a middleweight. What a minute. He's, such, he's so, such a great boxer. Phenomenal. He's doing the Ali. Look at him. Got his hands behind his back. Sticking his tongue out. Ah, hands up in the air, man. He's so great. Look at his footwork. So phenomenal. But Shakur Stevenson boxes. Devin Haney boxes. All of a sudden, it's, oh, look at these guys running. Look at Devin holding on. Look at him holding. Tyson Fury will hold you and lean on you. Vladimir Klitschko held everybody and leaned on them purposely to the point where even the UK was saying that him versus uh, Vladimir Klitschko versus Alexander Pedvekin was one of the worst matches they've ever seen of blatant holding. But when it comes to Devin, they put a fucking hold counter on the screen. No, you can't use your God-given skills. No. You have to stand there, nigger, and take these punches. You can't use your God-given skills. What the hell is wrong with you, boy? Shakur Stevenson, you can't use defeat that you was blessed with. 
You can't use the skills, the movement you was blessed with. How dare you? You better stand there and throw punches. Stand there and get punched on. That's what you better do. Make it fair for everybody else. Stand there, Shakur. Devin Haney, you gotta go in here. You can't punch Devin. You can't punch Devin. You can't punch Devin. You're a pillow fist of Devin. You're a pillow fist of Devin. Go in there and punch Devin. And then when Devin goes in there and punch, oh, Devin, man, he needs to retire, man. He just needs to retire because how dare De Devin can't punch, man. He needs to retire. He can't, he, he don't got no defense. He ain't got no chin. Insane. Insane. Absolutely insane. Insane. And before Gervonta Tank Davis fought Pitbull Cruz, y'all were saying to me, and the, and the receipts are still up. Oh, man, Tank can't box. Tank can't box, man. Tank, he really not even good. All he could do is punch. That's what you guys were saying. And then after he fought Pitbull Cruz, that went away. You try to degrade a man by saying, oh, well, well, Tank, oh, he, he didn't knock him out. So what are you talking about? He didn't knock him out. It's not called knockouts. It's called boxing. Oh, man, he really lost that fight. Why? Because he didn't knock him out? Because he didn't knock out Pitbull, so it was, he lost. Because we're better than y'all. That's why. And that's why the Latin fake has to say this. Can't point it out. You can't say it what it is, because if you say what it is, then you feel like you're going to get canceled. Oh, man. Well, you know, I need my clicks, and I need my views. I need my clicks. I'm, Masa's going to give me my, my clicks. Masa's going to give me my views. I need my clicks and my views. So before I say anything that's going to get the white man's on my backs, then I'm going to make sure I, 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 we don't know. I'm going to make sure I switches it. We don't, we don't, hey, Sergio Moore got a point. He, he got a point. What they should have did is they should have, put uh, uh, Tim Kazoo in the ring with some bums and let him fight some bums. That's what they should have did. But let Errol Spence fight Mikey fucking Garcia. Oh, God. Look at this little guy. He's fighting little tiny Mikey Garcia. Oh, God. I can't believe this. Oh, my God. Doesn't matter who Devin fights. Oh, God. There's another bus guy's a bum, garbage, trash. Didn't matter who Deontay Wilder fights. Oh, what a bum. Dude's fighting garbage trash. Another bum. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. It didn't matter who Errol Spence fought. Man, why he not fighting Bud? Why don't fight Bud? Man, we don't care about no Danny Garcia. Don't nobody care about no Danny Garcia. Ain't nobody care about no Mike Garcia. Don't nobody care about no Sean Porter. Sean Porter ain't nobody. Sean Porter ain't Lee. We want, we want Terrence Cover versus Errol Spence. That's what we want. That's what we want. Who the fuck are you talking about? It was these people. Those people. That's who. That's the reason why they're sitting here talking about how Tim Kazoo didn't just fight a better fighter. No. Tim Kazoo is the product of bad matchmaking. And anybody that's agreeing with this is the problem in the sport of boxing. Because you guys are running around here all day and all night telling me about how we oh. These fighters, the fighters, like the fighters are old, man. The fighters are old, man. They fight anybody, man. They fight anybody. They just, no, no fighters are yesteryear, man. They're the guys, man. That's the, that's what we, man. This fight, this, this age, this day and age of boxing is weak. They ain't boxing is frauds and cowards. These dudes are cowards. These dudes are soft, man. These dudes are soft. These guys are suing people. We, we want the day and age of people just fight. As we want, we want all the fights. We don't care about all the fights. Well, back then, it was the niggas who was fighting every fucking weekend. Win or lose. So they had over 100 fucking fights in like four years. 200 fucking fights, 300 fucking fights. Yeah, because everybody was fighting four times a month, sometimes five or six times a month. Yeah. Every year. Sometimes more than that. Uh, it's different. So y'all want it when you want to shit on the fighters of this time, the era. Of, you want to shit on black fighters because you don't shit on anybody else. When you want to say, oh man, we need to go back to the old time. Yeah, on y'all MAGA shit. Yeah, make boxing great again. Yeah, well, you know, y'all make boxing great again was the niggas fighting everybody every weekend. And then every now and then, a white guy coming in after a nigga didn't fought all month long, and then the white guy comes in and fights him to even out the playing field. So now he's been tired, he's been gassed from fighting everybody all fucking month. So then I'm going to come in at the end of the month, and then I'm going to fight him when I'm at my best, and he's depleted and drained. Then I'm going to fight him. 
so we can even the playing field. And when we even the playing field, then I can say, look at me, I beat the boy. No excuses, Darky. You got your ass whooped. Just a better fighter. Then we'll praise the Rocky Marcianos, the Dempseys. We'll praise those guys so much. Yeah, hey, so much praise. Hmm. But when it comes to Joe Lewis, oh, I don't care how old Joe Lewis was. He got his ass whooped. <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah, because you guys need things to even the playing field. And since you guys have the microphones in front of you, you can say these type of things. Because they even the playing field. They lighten the load. So now when Tim Kazoo fights again, he can fight some fucking bum and you guys will say, yeah, this is who he should be fighting. And then once he destroys that bum, the next thing you guys will be saying is, yo, he, he ready for it, man. He right there, man. They ducking Tim Zoo? No, fuck that. Tim Kazoo, you got your ass whipped. So what you need to do is pull yourself up by your bootstraps and get in another fucking title fight. You've got the privilege to get back-to-back -back title fights with back-to-back -back losses. So there should be no problem for you getting another one. No problem. Go fight Terrence Crawford. You fought for all the other belts. That's the only one you didn't fight for yet. So go fight that one. Make it a hat trick, my homie. Make it a hat trick. I'm pretty sure you fight Terrence Crawford, they'll give you pray. Oh, it's such bad matchmaking. I can't believe they're putting him in there off of back-to-back -back losses. This is so bad. So horrible bad matchmaking that they put him in there with Terrence Crawford until he beats Terrence Crawford. And then when Tim Zoo goes in there and beats Terrence Crawford, then all of a sudden it'll be, I told y'all Tim Zoo was the goods, man. I told y'all, told y'all, man, Eastern Europeans taking over. Listen, bro, Terrence Crawford was the best fighter at 154. So with Tim Zoo beating him, Tim Zoo's the best at 154. And if you don't want to say Tim Zoo is, then you got to say back rub because, you know, uh, uh, Tim Zoo was really beating Fundora. So if Errol Spence beats Fundora, that don't mean nothing because Tim Zoo was really beating him. But back rub, back rub destroyed Tim Zoo. So let that let you know, Tim Tim Zoo, if he beats Terrence Crawford, then Tim Zoo's the guy. But back rub destroyed Tim Zoo. So that means t t back rub is back rub's the best at 154. He's the number one guy at 154, and it's a disgrace if you put anybody else in there. Maybe Tim Zoo because he beat Terrence Crawford, but uh, Terrence Crawford is not the best at 154 right now. Physically, he is. As skilled and talented he is, but he has not beat anybody to be the best at 54. Skill for skill, he's up there, if not the best. Skill for skill. But resume-wise, no, he's not. Until somebody puts him on their resume. Till one of these guys put him on his resume, and then they will be the best at 54. Whatever, man. I just want to make sure I call the bullshit out. That's what I want to make sure. Shout out to Sugar Free Mars. Salute to the beautiful goddess Sugar Free. And BFTB, man, shout out to the mighty LDBC. I'm out. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, subscribe to my Patreon. And if you feel like supporting me, please support me in the PayPal or the Cash App.